No, it's going to be a very, very different episode. I think we're going to surprise uh, people, and I like that about our show. In five seasons, we found ways to uh, continue to create and innovate uh, new ways, I guess, to show these characters and um, you know the lives of these heroes. Episode 100 is not going to be a disappointment at all. What crossovers? I mean, they're clearly so much fun for the fans. Yeah, I, just, I always try to put myself in like their shoes and watch characters that you get close to and you care about. Yeah. and watch them coexist in like a big universe that happens over the course mm -hmm. of three nights i think that's pretty neat that's powerful and, and in real life not to cut you off bro but i think we're very honored to share this episode with with fire though you know they they're like our big brothers or sisters so Absolutely. to speak and they they hit 100 first uh so naturally for them to kind of usher us into our 100th episode i think that's pretty powerful and dope yeah we're slip streaming off of fire the whole time. Pretty much. From point A, we've just been right behind him like, <laughs> <laughs> our ride's easier than yours. <laughs>
But when you actually do and you find yourself in this opportunity, it's, it's extremely surreal, especially for a boy like me. I've been, I've been doing this since I was 15 or 16, like working in film and in TV. And at a certain point, and maybe it's like you get a little jaded. I don't think it comes from anger, but you just kind of get a little like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept that this is probably not going to work out. Because more often than not, it doesn't work out. You, you learn how to deal with rejection um, fairly quickly. So when it does work out, mm -hmm. um, the surprise and the payoff is, uh, is definitely there in a way that like, I, just, I wasn't looking for it. And I think last, yesterday was kind of the first time where I really realized, like, holy crap, like, that's a big deal, being on a show. I mean, to even get a show, yeah. to even get in to see a casting director two times, on, to get a show, to have the show then go, I mean, the, um, the process that it takes to even get your show on TV, I don't think everybody understands how crazy that is. That, yeah. that's, and that's step eight, just getting the show on TV. That's step eight, at least for on, on our end. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about two young men, one of them being from just a small farm town <laughs> in Red Wing, Minnesota, another one being in probably the most dangerous place to ever grow up in Harvey, Illinois. And so, like, this, Ruse Water is a powerful example of not just anything being able to happen, but you can do anything and do it a hundred times. <laughs> well said. A hundred times. And to contrast that, last night we, we had dinner with Dick, and we get that, I, I just, the sense that I get from Dick is like, yeah. I'm like, hey, Dick, a hundred episodes. And he's like, uh-huh. It's like, well, what? I mean, a hundred. He's like, no, I know. I get it. <laughs> this is, this I'm is here too. I, I get it. This is, this is how <laughs> Dick Wolf does things. Pretty much, man. He's had like, how many, 30, 100 episode parties? <laughs> it's just insane.